All right, let's get into some Marines made out of metal. This is how I got hacked by emulator in revenge. All right, is my controller going to work? Yes, the controller decides to work this time. Hey, Farron, how's it going? Okay, so we got uh, advice and start. Operation 1, Gaia. Let's get advice. Bowman, huh? Commander, Ernest Bowman, intelligence advisor, reporting for duty. Okay, good, we can hit a button to speed it up. I have been sent by Allied Forces Headquarters to assist you, sir. When we attack the Empire base, it will be necessary to locate enemy forces with missile reconnaissance and deploy units accordingly. If we eliminate the enemy anti-air missiles with our metal marines, we can destroy their metal marines with missiles. This tactic will allow us to achieve our objective with minimal casualties. I am looking forward to a glorious campaign. I guess this does mean that, unfortunately, the uh, YouTube video is not going to get the intro. And I missed that line. Communication from the enemy. Commander Garland, huh? Oh, will he knock us all down? Welcome to your fight. This game is really bad at its uh, text advancement. Like, I, I completely miss that, because I was hitting the button, expecting it to get to the prompt to <laughs> let you click the button to uh, continue on. Mm. Well, Garland, commander of the North American Theater, apparently. You've got a lot of guts to attack a professional army. Okay, so we can deploy, deploy our base. Can we get a view? I guess this is the enemy, huh? Let's see. So those look like uh, weapon turrets of some kind. That looks like a missile. That looks like a metal marine hangar thing. Uh, those as well. This is all me? Oh. Oh, are they on another island? I have seen someone uh, play this game, uh, Grimith, actually, but I don't really remember anything about it. There's some little houses there. Okay, yeah, so there is another um, island. Alright, well... Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put that there. Deploy the bases. I assume if I lose all of my bases, then um, that's the uh, the mission over. Let's put that behind a hill. Yeah, they're my lives. All right. All right, let's go ahead and start. Okay, we can pause, so that's good. All right, so we got some missiles. Um, we got anti-air radar. ICBMs which are a little bit expensive. Uh, Anti-air missiles, metal marines, supply headquarters, engineering plant, gun pod, landmine, and a factory. Marines made out of metal. Metal marines. Exactly, Zerfall. Exactly. All right, so... Um, probably would help to have actually... Uh, uh, Read some... Oh, dummy base. Oh, okay. Leveling. Build up. Alright, so we can pause it and scroll. Let's see if we can see the enemy ba the enemy island. No? Uh, 
Apparently not. ICBM is the uh, map buster. Yeah, I, I am uh, aware of that. There's a button to bring up the attack enemy menus. Well, B-14, you sunk my battleship. Well, there's attack, dummy unit, grid mode. All right, so there's an enemy attack coming in. Okay, so that was, uh, those are missiles. We don't have any anti-air over there. I'm definitely going to need some more anti-air. All clear, but that did not go well. All right. So I, I think we're going to take this first round as kind of a... I mean, it's not like I read the manual or anything. Um... Unit data. No unit. Alright, so that's been destroyed, and we've got a Gunner 1. Anti-air, gun pod. Yeah, I was just kind of hoping to see the, um... the enemy base. So we got some missiles here. Ah, that's the enemy base. Okay, and I haven't seen the enemy base, so I don't really know what there is. Let's go with that. Okay. Yeah, explore via attacks. Let's see what happens. Okay, so there was nothing there. They did miss all of my missiles. Okay, took out a couple things there. Okay, well, I do see where their, uh, um, their base is, or at least one of their bases. And their anti-air is pretty awful, actually. Okay, so... Um, I imagine a supply headquarters would get me more money. There's another enemy attack coming in. Yeah. And again, I'm planning to use this as a, um, this first map as learn the mechanics, and I might redo it. It does look like I need some more anti-air, though. All I have are gun pods, but the gun pads se seem to work pretty well. Alright, is there a way to upgrade a damaged, destroyed thing, or do I have to destroy it and uh, rebuild? That's what I am wondering. 
Well, first of all, let's get more anti-air. I definitely need more anti-air over here. Ah, another enemy attack coming my way. Yeah, you have to guess where to strike, at least initially. Ah, I can't deploy on that destroyed uh, ground there. Okay. Interesting. All right. That's more anti-air. Get an engineering, uh, an en engineering plant. There we go. I do have enough for an ICBM. I could go for that. I don't know if I have enough uh, energy. I got enough money. Ah, ICBM is very big. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Let's also do an attack. Ooh, Gloomwing, Gloomwing Moth. Yep. Do that in uh, a moment. Try that. Hey, Ab Cody, how's it going? Yes, it is definitely very Gundam ish. Alright, looks like they got some uh, stuff set up there. Okay, took care of that. So, can I do another attack right away? Helps if I'm actually on the, uh... The thing. I can do another attack right now. Why does it say E? Takes a while. Okay, takes a while to reload. That's why. Okay. All right, then let's try building some more missiles. Ah, oh, here they're coming with another attack. E for empty. Got it. Yeah. All right, makes sense. I assume anti-air radar would make uh, our anti-air missiles even better at hitting. All 
Let's get some more built. I have very little money right now. Is there a way to see? Are they, uh... Are they reloaded? They are reloaded. Okay, good. Let's try it. Nice. We don't have a whole lot of uh, anti-air defense there. Excellent. Do I have to get uh, um, my metal marines over there to destroy the bases? Because they don't really seem like they're taking a whole lot of damage there, and some of these are wasted. It can help. So I can do it without that. Alright, another enemy attack coming our way. Good. You guys are making me a little nervous there. There we go. Alright, I got pretty good uh, defense against uh, those things then. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. Go. Parasites! You just wait. Oh, oh, is he? Is he? Uh, is he worried? Is he worried? I think he might be worried. Data, that's not done yet. Okay, so that is doing uh, more war funds. Anti-air radar. Anti-air radar. Okay, so we got two anti-air radars there. Howdy, Elil. How's it going? ATMM, AT Pod. That doesn't help me tell me. That doesn't tell me what any of those are. Well. There we go. I think they're out of metal marines. Okay, no, I was wrong. That was not enough to uh, take them out there. Okay, all clear, but I need to get that uh, rebuilt. So I imagine I need to uh, do some leveling. that built back up there. I don't know what either of these uh, two things were. Another enemy attack. Oh, anti-gun pod. Excellent. 
All right, well, let's do an attack of our own. Okay, let's go. They don't seem to like me. No, no, they don't. That's... That's shock shocking. Howdy, Grimmeth. How's it going? Oh, they're trying to build up there. Marines made out of metal. Exactly. It has been uh, so long since your uh, Let's Play that I don't remember <laughs> the details. <laughs> trying to learn it again myself. Oh, good. I think we're going to have a pretty free reign on that uh, base there, then. <laughs> I love that one anti-air missile just... <laughs> it sure wasn't all, wasn't all that important. <laughs> I like our carrier craft. There we go. All clear. Colonial forces land in North America, exploiting a weakness in the Empire's defense. A strategic base is quickly built and used as the staging area for an advance on the Empire's Philadelphia base. Colonial forces captured Philadelphia. Repairs began immediately on base infrastructure. All right, pretty good. Uh, password. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get a uh, save state since we're right here. And... Let's go ahead and read the Gloomwing Moth for Dracophile. Where are you, a PDF? Actually, we'll go ahead and do the, uh, the advice first. Commander, we have just received an intelligence brief on the Empire forces. They're building a strong anti-aircraft belt packed with missiles and radar. Totally not white base in the victory screen there, yeah. I recommend an immediate attack to throw them off balance before they consolidate their defenses. A high priority should be placed on neutralizing their radar. Without radar, their anti-air missiles will be less effective. What is this, Radar Secret Service? Good luck! Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. Not bad for a beginner! But you haven't won yet! Our Boston base won't be so easy! You'll see what it's like to go head-to-head -head with pros! Garland, go back to Final Fantasy where you belong. But he wants to knock us all down. All right, so we got a few bases. I love that one house right there. All right, Gloomwing Moth. I am trying to th remember exactly what that is under. Might be under Worm. It's going to get worse, that's all you'll say. Oh, I, uh, I know. 
All right, so let's see. We got uh, multiple levels again. Uh, we're definitely going to need to uh, do some upgrades to our stuff. This seems like a good place to get a base. Those are radars. Go. So worm. Hmm. It is gonna take me a little while to find this, I think. Because I do not remember what it's under. I remember it's under something else. Maybe it is actually just under Gloomwing, actually. Oh yeah, it is. Thought it was under something else. Alright. Boston, we better take plenty of uh, tax with us, because, you know, they hate tax over there. Tax will really tee them off. Are, are, you, are you trying to be the Big Mac, Glow Bunny? What else do we have? I guess we could put one back here. What happens if I say no? Ah, lets you redeploy your bases. Okay. Good to know. Alright, so if you're not happy with uh, what you did... Right, I think I was mixing up uh, different enemies. There's, there's a couple things that get put in different places at times. Alright, let's see. We have some anti-air there. There we go. Alright, the creature commonly uh, called the Gloomwing is the adult stage of the Tenebrous Worm. See below. These huge moths are native to the demiplane of shadow, their bodies and wings covered with shimmering geometric patterns of black and silver. They have large fern-like black antennae tipped with white and eight legs, each ending in a pearly claw. Gloomwing moths are short-lived, solitary hunters. They use a variety of pheromones to ward off rivals and to find mates. They form groups, but only to attack large prey, and then only when drawn to the fray by the combat pheromone. When two gloom wings of the same sex meet, they flee unless there is combat pheromone in the air. Ecology. Gloomwing moths live only four to nine weeks, 1d6 plus three. Uh, during this time, they search for mates and eat voraciously. Egg-laden females, half chance. Uh, why not? I guess it's just, fi why not just say 50%? Use corpses of small size or larger creatures as incubators for their eggs. The eggs hatch in 12 days, sprouting 1d6 plus 4 small tenebrous worms. The corpse cannot be resurrected unless the infestation is removed with a cure disease spell first. Unless killed, the young worms completely devour the body when they emerge. Uh, I have no idea what solstice is. What is solstice? And what system is that? Yeah, Gloomwing Moths. It's an NES game, okay. Alright, we need more anti-air missiles. To start with. Alright, I don't have a whole lot of money left. I don't even know what that is. Well, it, it's it's going to be weeks away, because uh, Metal Marines is going to take me um, more than a little bit of time. Uh, 
All right, good. Excellent. Oh, goody. Uh, looks like they're gonna get one of my uh, one of my bases. Apparently, this is out of range of the gun pod. Oh shoot! They know where another one is. Well, that's not great. Okay. I guess that's the downside of putting them so far away from everything. Oh, Lel Bunny, there are definitely uh, doll type enemies. There's a plush golem, there's a doll golem, there are carrion nets. Alright, I need gun pods. Actually, let's go ahead and level... Another enemy attack. Hmm. They had even more. I think we're going to lose some anti-air missiles here. Please take out the, uh, the mecha. Take out the mecha. Take it out. Well, shoot. There are doll golems. Fun shortage. Okay. Another enemy attack. Jeez. Howdy, Kier Julia. How's it going in Klongo? Might need to reset at this point. Yeah, we'll see. Supply headquarters is really expensive. Yeah, Tiamat is is a god, not a monster, uh, Mr. Wolverine. Uh, Spectral Dragon... There's a Ghost Dragon I might be able to pull up. Well, shoot. Yeah, Doll Golem has an entry. Whoa. 
Well, yeah, but that's just chromatic dragons. Alright, that guy has a pretty big gun. I don't like that. Yeah, the second mission just does not hold any... pull any punches, does it? Okay. Well. That's, uh, a problem. Do I have anything that I can attack with? I have two missiles. Which is, I suppose, what I should have been doing early on. Well, these are upgraded missiles, at least. Okay, that's a few things destroyed. They didn't have a whole lot of stuff right there on the uh, edge. Okay, took that out. Alright, I can see some other stuff at least. Funds shortage. Another enemy attack. Yeah, an upgraded Marine too, but... Ah. Okay, good. The metal Marines that they're likely to send in are, are what worries me. And there go my missiles. Got rid of their Metal Marine, at least. Yeah, they've, uh, they've done a number on my uh, coastal defenses. I'm trying to think of what I should do differently, and I'm not really sure. I need more missiles, though, because they destroyed my missiles. That is not helping any. Yeah, so all I have is, uh, my single metal marine. Which, this would be a very bad idea. But we're kind of screwed anyway, so... Let's see. Yeah, Mr. Wolverine, she's a deity. Hey, Wex, how's it going? Hmm. Let's go there.
All right, now two gun pods are shooting at my Metal Marine, and he wasn't trying to do anything else, so... Another enemy attack coming in. Of course, taking out the stuff that I was just building. Yeah, so I built too much stuff uh, for defense at the beginning. I should have been building more economic stuff. So what do you do for this? Do you, uh, is it, like, how do you get another uh, Metal Marine build up? Info on that, all right. Well, never mind. All right, is there a concede option? And go back. I guess I'll just uh, load back up the uh, the say because I don't think we can recover from this. I don't have. I'm not getting enough money, and they're just going to keep pounding my. Um, my defenses. So let's try this again. Alright, so I got a couple uh, um, requests here. Let's see. So I do have some other dragons that I could uh, read. I'll go, I'll go with the Dracohydra, Mr. Wolverine. It's not Tiamat, but it's kind of close. It's multiple heads. Can find where it is in my list. There it is. All right. Uh, Draco Hydras are hideous, multi-headed, winged monsters that combine the worst features of dragons and hydras. No one knows precisely what their origin is. Some sages believe they're ancient offshoots of the pre-dragons that have been hibernating for mil millions of years. Others believe they're the next step in the evolution of dragons. Still others think that they're the result of tampering by supernatural beings, perhaps deities or perhaps Tiamat the Chromatic Dragon. Dracohydras have been reported with uh, two to five heads. 25% of Dracohydras have two heads, 50% have three heads, 15% have four heads, and 10% have five heads. The creatures are a muddy brown color, ranging to a lighter brown, almost cream, on their bellies. Their eyes are red. Dracohydras speak their own tongue, a derivative of the language of evil dragons. Dracohydras can understand about half of what evil dragons say, and vice versa. Dracohydras know no other languages. Habitat Society. Dracohydras are found in inaccessible mountain areas far from civilization. They prefer snow-covered peaks and mountains around which storms frequently play. Dracohydras are most like whites in their outlook, rapacious, selfish, and ferocious. Their low intelligence makes it difficult for them to plan or think in an abstract manner, so their behavior is always direct. Dracohydras are ferocious hunters that often kill other creatures even when they aren't hungry, apparently for sport. The creatures are basically bullies. If faced by a strong foe that won't back down, they often run away. Conversely, they enjoy playing with a weaker foe before killing it. The creatures are, by preference, solitary, associating with others of their kind only to mate. Offspring remain with the parents only until they reach the young age category. They then either head out on their own, or rarely challenge one of their parents for its horde. Parents protect their offspring, but not at the cost of their own lives. 
sure to look as though a continual, continued defense might mean death, the parents flee. Any encounter with more than one Dracohydra is a mated pair, and one or two offspring of age category hatchling, 60%, or very young, 40%. Dracohydras hate all other Dracoforms. If they think they can get away with it, they'll attack other Dracoforms on sight. Dracohydras also have no love for humans, demi-humans, and humanoids. They sometimes enslave these smaller creatures, but the period of servitude never lasts long before the Dracohydra gets hungry and eats its slaves. Ecology. Like other dragons, Dracohydras can consume almost anything, including non-living materials like rocks and gems. As famed dragon hunter Smyrdiuk Dragonbane once put it, if it's not on fire, they'll eat it. Hells, if it is on fire, they'll put it out, then eat it. The creatures have a continuously voracious hunger, which they much prefer to satisfy with fresh meat. The main enemies of Dracohydras are storm giants, stone giants, and red dragons, who consider their flesh, the flesh of the creatures young, to be a delicacy. Go ahead and mark that as complete. Ah, Samaster had nothing to do with that Dracophile. Um, and yeah, Lil Bunny Evil Dragons do have their own language because they're their own species. Um, a better idea would be to say that the Chromatic Dragons have their own language, but. Alright. So he is, uh, winding at us again. Okay, so, um,. My base is being far from defenses, not the best idea. So let's go ahead and get that one there. And I want this I want them split up a bit. It seems like that's where they intend to have that, so. Like that seems designed for that. And we'll go there. Alright, so I need another supply headquarters. Let's get that. Let's see, if, let's see about getting an attack right off the bat. See how that does. Okay. Let's see if we lose this one. Yeah, we did. All right. So I kind of want to upgrade that one. There we go. I do want more anti-air missiles, however. Okay, here comes an enemy attack. Yeah, the alignment tongues in first edition were awful. It was a really bad idea. Oh, come on. You took out someone's poor house. You monsters. for us to do here, sir. Okay, that's a lot of money spent there. Another enemy attack coming in. <laughs> just land in the middle of nowhere, just to prove you can, yeah. Good. 
Good. Good. We are going to have to deal with this, though. That's not ideal. I don't know that I have any gun pod. Okay, there's a gun pod. But we're losing... Uh, we lost two anti-air defenses there. Okay. Please take this one out. Good, good, all right. Let's get an attack going. I want to try to take out a uh, some metal marine things if I can. wasn't terribly effective there, but oh well. Nice. Attack coming in. Come on. Okay, that's not as bad as it could have been. Although they're probably going to drop some... Uh... No, going right there. Okay, it lost some anti-air. Excellent. care about their bases at the moment. Um, let's see what we got up here. Alright, so 24k energy to attack is... Uh, I'm gonna need to... I might need to put out some energy pods to get more energy, just to be on the safe side. Okay, that was a pretty good blast. These are going to be kind of useless. I think I've mostly taken out their anti-air. Uh, does my PDF contain unique monsters, i.e. Nexus? I don't know who or what Nexus is. It does include, uh, unique monsters, but they have to be unique second edition monsters. What do I need for this? 50. Enemy's message. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. You won't get away with this! I mean, you say that. You say that. I guess I don't really need the energy one. Um, I could go uh, build another uh, missile. Get 
get another attack going. Let's go with that. Alright, let's try to... They're building another uh, upgraded Metal Marine hangar, and I do not want that to happen. Excellent. Alright, let's see how this goes. Nice! Missiles better than Metal Marines, it seems. At least for me. Might want some more gun pods around here. Let's get another attack going. Actually, let's try something else. Get that one missile going there. Let's see if we can just take all that out. Metal Marines are good for making a beachhead so your missiles can actually reach land. Yeah, yeah, if they have really good anti-air defense. I can see how that would be the case. I'm curious if all if, if all of these missiles will take out that base. Because I think I've mostly taken out their... Um, their defenses there. Yeah, I'm seeing no... Uh, anti-air at all. Yeah, there we go. Going much better this time, yeah. Well, partly it's because I attacked so quickly. Enemy's message. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. Parasites, you just wait! Oh, he's scared of me. Let's go ahead and uh, build that one up. Yeah, I'm doing really well on money now. What does factory do? This will build it. I don't know. I'm not building anything else right now. Uh, I've got all of our missiles, so let's do another attack. Reload build speed. Ah, okay. He might only have that second base left, indeed. 
That's my guess. Oh, he has gotten uh, some uh, anti-air. All right. I might lose my Metal Marine there. Okay, nothing that way. Took that out, whatever that was. All right, mostly, uh, mostly worthless attacks there. I did take out their anti. No, I didn't take out their anti air. They've got more anti air. They got gun pods though. All right, so I might lose this guy. Especially since he ignored, decided to ignore the, uh, the thing there. Okay, so what is that? I'm gonna not build up. Info. It says no unit there. So... How do you get another, uh... You have to bull- oh! Alright. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. Uh, parasites, you just wait! Alright, so it's not worth it at this point to, to build another one. Maybe there'll be a building later on. Ah, okay, here we go. Let's go for you. Let's then drop all of these there. All right, let's see how this goes. Excellent. Yeah, I really don't want to send a uh, Metal Marine over if I'm going to lose it then, or, or something like that. There we go. That's not a lot of the world left. Colonial and Empire forces engage in fierce combat over Boston. Boston Falls to Colonial Metal Marines. Documents captured from retreating forces suggest an enemy buildup in Canada for an offensive. Colonial forces prepare to conduct a hasty attack. Boston. Yeah, it's a real world. Let's go ahead and take our white, white base up to... Uh, I guess kind of the Yukon, British Columbia. Operation 3, Eagle. Let's go ahead and get a save state. Let's get the advice. A commando force of metal marines was sent to disrupt enemy preparations. They should buy us enough time to set up some defenses. Once the bases are deployed, I recommend building a strong defensive perimeter with metal marines and gun pod bunkers for close-in support. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. Oh, hello. Commander Joan. <laughs> I'm Joan Bile. Your dog meat. 
Don't worry, we'll give you a proper military funeral. Okay. Let's see, we got a metal marine there. Why would we have radar on the front line there? That's terrible. We have, like, no defenses around here at all. Alright, one there. One there. Can't deploy there. It's there. All right. See you, not a ro see you, not a rogue AI. Okay. So I need uh, I need anti air pretty badly. So let's get a supply headquarters. Energy plant. More funds shortage. So let's go ahead and get an attack going right off the bat. I've got two upgraded missiles. Have fun defeating Zeon. Ah, we are Zeon this time, though. We're fighting the, uh, um... We're fighting Ur... Oh, man. That's not great. Okay, got a got some stuff there. All right, that's the easier way to get in then. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> All right, can't get another attack. Anti-air radar is pretty expensive, so I can't do that. I feel like getting another supply headquarters, though. Seventy-five. There we go. Can we do another attack? Yes, we can. You can pause and build. All right, that's good. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Excellent. I like Mecha, but the missiles just seem good. <laughs> Still got one through there, good. Yeah, 
You often use uh, Marines as long area recon. Oh, that's a good idea. Alright, here we got another attack coming in. Good. That's worrisome. I was going to upgrade that metal marine there. Oh, jeez. We got three of them. Oh, that's not good. Well, there goes one of our bases. And radar. That's going to be bad. I think that radar is dead. Yeah, that was a pretty nasty attack that they're... Okay. All right, so if we can pause it. Uh, might not be able to build up. Where was the... My other metal marine. There we go. Uh, you've redeemed a Blaster Master. All right. All right, well, this whole area is just destroyed. I need to get another radar up. I need more missiles, too. Excellent there. Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay, how about... Uh, no, you can't pause and build. Enemy's message. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. Your persistence will be your doom! Yeah, that's one camera down. Boy, she's worse than the, uh, the Syndicate, uh... People. Nope. Good and abort. I have a ton of energy here. Let's get another anti-air radar as well. Another enemy attack. At least you can look around while paused. Yes. Dang it! I think that was my other radar, actually. Well. Well. Oh, that's bad. Ah, well. They got a really good position on that one. And there goes the other thing that I was building. 
Thanks, game. Okay. I have no radar now. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Well, that's, uh, not ideal. Okay, that one I could actually go take out, it looks like. Alright, it's 40 to build up that missile again. Let's do another attack. Let's see how that goes. There's a lot of anti-air missiles there, but I got to take them out. I might not be able to. Yes, there we go. Got all of that. Okay, go ahead and build that up. Another enemy attack coming our way. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, there goes uh, my missiles. And there goes a lot of my anti-air. Well. Uh, you actually took them out. Took one out. I don't think you're going to survive this one. Nope. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. Surrender while you still have the chance. Yeah, this is the third mission. Alright, I can get another attack going with you guys. Um, Alright, they got radar there. Let's go ahead and take out those gun pods. Actually, a board. We need to see what some other stuff is.
Take out the radar. And hit that. Hit whatever is up there. I need more money. Okay. Took out some stuff there. Okay, there's another base up there. Alright. If only our friends called us as often as the enemies. Alright, here comes another enemy attack. They're going to focus on that that base there. Or not. Ah, oh, shoot. They're going to go after my radar, too. Now there goes some of my missiles. Well... Game over. Our main force was defeated. Alright. Your general opening move, build two logisti logistics bases at the very beginning. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so, Eagle. Let's, uh, before we do that, however, let's go ahead and golem, doll golem for Lil Bunny. Okay. The doll golem is an animated version of a child's toy that can be put to either good uses, defending the young, or evil uses, attacking them. It is often crafted so as to make them appear bright and cheerful when at rest. Upon activation, however, its features become twisted and horrific. The doll golem is, like all similar creatures, immune to almost all magical attacks. It can be harmed by fire-based spells, although these do only half damage, while a warp wood spell will affect a, the creature as if it were a slow spell. A mending spell restores a creature to full hit points at once. Each round, the doll golem leaps onto a victim and attempts to bite it. Success indicates 3d6 points of damage and forces a victim to save versus spells. Failure to save causes a victim to begin to laugh uncontrollably, as if under the influence of Itasha's uncontrollable hideous laughter spell, and become unable to perform any other action. The effects of the creature's bite are far worse, however. The victim begins to laugh on the round after they failed save. At, the same, at this time, they take 1d4 points of damage from the muscle spasms imposed by the laughter. On the following round, this increases to 2d4, then 3d4, and so on. The laughter stops when the character dies or receives a dispel magic. Following recovery, the victim suffers a penalty on all attack and saving throws of minus one per round that they were overcome with the laughter, i.e., uh, e.g., four rounds of uncontrolled laughter would equal a minus four penalty on attack saving throws. This represents the weakness caused by the character's inability to breathe and is reduced by one point per subsequent turn until the character is fully recovered. Yeah. Yeah, doll golems are pretty awful. And and yes, they are absolutely 100% based off of Chucky. <laughs> All right, let's start. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. <laughs> I'm Joan Bile, your dog meat. Don't worry, we shall give you a proper military funeral. Oh no, no, that's not. It's. I mean, it's. It's not as tough as a uh, um, as an iron golem. But it's those. That's pretty tough. All right. So bases. Um, and getting a base there is still a good idea. Base there. And a base there. Okay. All right, 
supply headquarters. All right, see you, Tidal Rabbit. Thanks for coming out. Still seems odd to call it a doll golem. Well, again, it's based on Chucky. All right, we know that there's a base there. I'm going to try blasting that. Actually, no. If I remember correctly, the northern section was easier. Right, he's he's but it, that doesn't mean that it can't be ba that a golem a monster in uh, D and D can't be based on that. I mean, there are enemies. There are monsters based on the uh, um, the xenomorph from uh, from Alien, but they're in no way like they don't have uh, an egg and a uh, um, face hugger for. All right, here comes our first enemy attack. You don't understand why it's called a golem? Because it's created the same way all the other golems are. All right, they basically went to the exact same back place. That's interesting. Yeah, it's an animated construct. Attack is a Roomba a golem. I mean, I guess it technically could be. Uh, Valagroman. Oh, there are plenty of monsters kind of like that. There we go. I mean, Slotty, uh, stick their eggs in you. to upgrade these uh, missiles. Yep, here comes an enemy attack. Oh, come on. Well, I got three uh, Metal Marines there. They're not upgraded, though. Okay, good. Ooh, wow. All right, I lost one really quick. Oh, there goes one. All 
All right, we might lose this base. And we're gonna lose that anti-air. Lost all three of those uh, metal marines. This guy might be damaged enough to get killed by this thing, though. Nope. All right, one of my bases is uh, destroyed. Let's go with an attack. Good, got one of their metal marines. Dang it. Nice, okay. Missed with both of those. I have no idea how expensive it is. Okay, 45 to build up one of these. Pretty sure this is where one of the uh, bases is. So let's see if we can take that out. I'm using a lot of energy, though. Oh, nope. Well, shoot. That's a waste of uh, missiles. That was a big waste of energy there. I thought I remembered a base being up there, but nope. All right, here comes an enemy attack. Oh, no, uh... He's dead, though. I'm pretty sure I've lost my Metal Marine. Yep. All right. Enemy's message. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. How dare you! Well, I, I mean, why are you sending that to me when it was clearly the uh, um, uh, the camera that you were mad at? with another attack. Okay, so this is where... Let's see. I definitely saw some stuff down here, so let's go there. Go there. Uh, 
Actually, let's try this again. Let's try that. How could you be so inconsiderate as to destroy a non-in- non-innocent murderous villainous like that? So callous. Okay, mm they do not have a whole lot out there where I sent those missiles. Yeah, they got a lot of uh, defenses there. Oh, they do have a radar there, though. That would be... Okay, this might take out that radar. Ah, oh, and they have another radar. Okay. Alright, so I know where where to go next. But here comes another enemy attack. They have no mi- it doesn't seem like they have any missiles, and they're just gonna destroy those things that I'm building. attack? Yes, we can. Alright, there's radar. There's radar there as well. Let's see how this goes. Okay, good. Took out a radar. I think I see another radar, too. So I know where to go next if uh, we aren't able to get through here. Excellent. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. They haven't rebuilt anything out there. Nice, okay. Enemy's message. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. Your persistence will be your doom! Did she say so? I need more energy, though. Can I get another attack? Yes, I can. Okay, that's gun pods. Okay, there's some stuff here. Let's do that. Do that. And... Do that. All right. Alright, my missiles are working pretty well here. 
Oh, good. I think I took care of the uh, their last Metal Marine. She just wants me to die, and I keep persisting with life. I'm so defiant. I mean, you're not wrong there. Take care of all of those. Just uh, destroy their, casually destroy all their infrastructure. Why not? I think they put up a dummy base. You realize this means you're not getting a date, yeah? Maybe she likes persistence. Alright, let's get another attack going. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's some anti-air up there, but I don't think that matters. Let's drop all of those missiles right on that base. So I'm pretty sure that forward one is a dummy base. Kaboom. The terminal turn off. Ah, uh, just just eliminating all of the area around it so it's easy for uh, renewal. There we go. Colonial forces advance into Canada and seize a supply base crucial for Edmonton's survival. I like the... Uh, I like the bridge image here. That's really nice. And very gun to me. All right. Operation to four. Bison. Let's go ahead and uh, save here. Okay. Advice. Commander, the enemy is dug in at Edmonton. This has the potential to be a drawn-out campaign. It would be wise to strengthen our logistics by building a supply base. I also have a brief on the enemy commander, Garland. He wants to knock you all down. He's a bull-headed hard charger who likes to attack. We should grab the initiative and attack as soon as possible. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. Ha 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 ha, fool! You took our bait while you wasted your time destroying a minor supply base. We've massed our forces in Edmonton! Oh no. Okay, bases that can be deployed. Um, let's go with one there. What do we have up here? Oh, hey, it's nothing but water up there, huh? Oh my god, do we have nothing? No, we do have some stuff here. Okay. I got a lot of funds, at least. Okay, let's get some upgrades up here, then. Uh, 
Sometimes it's better to start with nothing, since bad decisions won't get in your way. <laughs> Alright, we have no idea where anything is. That seems like a logical place for a base, but it could also not be. They have a lot of space here, and I dislike that. I need to get some energy as well. Dang. Alright, that's not ideal. Yeah, not ideal. Which is it? 50,000 to upgrade the anti-air. Alright. You can also use missiles as recon if only to find where the anti-air is. Yeah, that's true. Alright, here comes our first enemy attack. I guess that's what they're doing. Oh, okay. Well, you just destroyed a poor person's house. That was a dumb place to drop that. Excellent. Alright, where are you going? Uh, a dumb place. Okay. All clear. Wasn't aware the enemy was so interested in helping you clear-cut your island. That's nice of them. Well, I still need to bulldoze. Can I do another attack? Yes, I can. Alright, we've got an upgraded anti-air there. And we've got anti-air there. Let's get go ahead and get rid of those. Hopefully. Excellent. Okay, we also have a metal marine there. What do I need for that? 50? Okay, let's get this build right there. Okay, we can get our uh, missiles fired again. Let's see, that was there, so... Right there. Excellent, okay. Okay, so I see some more stuff. Uh, let's see. Dummy base is 30, so I don't really want to build that. Um, I can upgrade one of those, but it's, I don't have the money right now. I don't... There's... Really, no better way to protect this back here, uh, which is really unfortunate. Uh, enemy attack. 
Excellent. Excellent. Nice. Not nice. That was awful. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, I, they can land on the slopes, though. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. <laughs> Give it up! Uh, how about no? Alright, so, back up here. Um, I gotta... I need to get the anti-air back. Dang it. Oh, overload the front? Well, yes. But I don't have the money for that, so... Good. That little anti-air, uh... thing is doing God's work, and then... Now we're out of anti-air. Dang it, I needed to get an I should have gotten another attack in. There we go. Oh, jeez. All right, let's get an attack of our own going. I need to get some more missiles built up, too. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's some radar back there. There's definitely something that I want to... I definitely want to go after that. so that I can get back up here again. Dang it! Good. Not good. Really not good. Get an attack going. Yeah, radar. Double attack that. I gotta get that through. Get knock out the radar. 
mean, it's not going to help uh, defend my base, but... Almost. Ah, dang it. Can I get another attack? No. I mean, I could with the missiles, but I'd rather hold off. I don't think that stuff is built up yet enough. Nope. That's good. Uh-oh. Good. All right. Well. There goes all of that anti-air. Okay. Isn't them clearing a destroyed structure saving the No, because you still have when it's when the ground is brown, you have to clear it. You have to bulldoze it to get it back to green again. Nice! Alright. All the rest of this is wasted, but that's okay. So you have to bulldoze it no matter what. There's nothing else immediately around there that I can see. All right, here comes another enemy attack. Nice. <laughs> Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. What do you think of my strength? Uh, I'm not all that impressed, actually. Alright, now I also do kind of want to get some out here. Can we do an attack? No. Now, can we do an attack? Yes, we can. Okay, so we didn't see anything else there, so let's go with that. Let's go with that. With that. Your tendency, build anti-air and gun pods in rows. Yeah, it seems, uh, seems like it might, might work out well. Okay, nothing there. I think that was radar. I 
I need to find their missiles. Okay, they definitely have a lot of stuff back there. <laughs> All right. All right, here comes an enemy attack. Excellent. That's okay. Very nice. Very nice. Gun pods are 10. So I could do that, but I need to clear this up. Can we make an attack? Yes, we can. Uh, what is D? Is that a dummy? Let's try that. There's a lot of stuff up there. <laughs> Don't shoot me, please. Let's see if we can see what it is as we uh, fly over it. Nope. Alright, looks like that's just anti-air. I gotta find another... I think I gotta find another... Uh, um, Uh, another radar somewhere. Excellent! Nice! Oh, they had a decoy on the on that one. Okay, that's good. A dummy unit or something like that. Figures a single last missile makes it through. <laughs> ah, you dinks. I just built all of that. Alright, where are you going? That's not ideal. Except there's really not a whole lot. I mean, it's a gun pod under construction. It's annoying, but... All right, see you, Mouse Master. Can we do another attack? Yes, we can. Okay, this is a base, so I think that I want to blast it all. Take care of all those gun pods. I could probably send a metal marine down there. Let's see what happens with these. Yeah. Okay, so that's just one, um... One of their bases, though. Enemy 
attack. Good. Good. I do want to find where their missiles are, too, though. This is not great. All this stuff is toast. Now they might not have time to def to, to destroy the uh, the base, though. Although I suspect they will, because there's two of them. Yep. Message. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. <laughs> Give it up! I mean, I'm taking out one of yours. Okay, unfortunately, that is a ton of my anti air. Get another attack going? Yes, we can. Let's just see what we find. Ah, there's a decoy unit there, I see. Nothing there. So they've hidden something, and I don't know what. Okay, there's another base. And there's another metal marine. Attack. I don't know if I can easily defend. No, nope. dang it. They breached my defenses. It was really that one metal marine that did it. Where are you going? Oh, jeez. They got all the way back there. Okay, they're not close enough to that one. And they're not close enough to the, uh... To the base, but they're gonna take out one of my supply depots. Yeah. So that's 75. All right. Let's just see if we can uh, do some... Nope. Some destruction on them, because I do not have the money right now to... Do stuff. Nope.
There we go. Okay, there's radar here. I would like to take that out. Got rid of the Metal Marine. No mecha for you. You're not allowed to use it. There is an anti-air thing there, though. Alright, they just put a dummy unit up there, then. For some reason. Good. Took that out. Alright, another enemy attack. Good. So I haven't found any of their missile launchers yet. Oh, come on. Stupid anti-air. That's okay. Attack. Yes, we can. Alright, so where do we want to go? There's more anti-air here, but there's also a base here. Let's have everything go after this base. And see if we can destroy that base. Have yet to find their missiles, unfortunately. And there's nothing that's going to stop us from hitting that one, so that's good. Like, I kind of feel like the gun pods need longer range. Alright, come on, last missile. Are you able to uh, take this out? Yes! Alright, so it's six missiles is what you need. And they still do have more. Alright, here comes another attack. I don't have good enough coverage in certain areas, but that's pretty good. Well, there goes all of that. <laughs> Uh. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. Parasites, you just wait! I have a ton of energy, and it's... I just can't put it to use right now. There we go. I need to find their missiles. That's part of the problem. They've got to be at the back. And 
No, but I got other stuff. Okay, there's more stuff back there, but I did get rid of that anti-air. Okay, I found their other uh, base, though. So I'm going to try pummeling that. Okay. another enemy attack. Probably going to destroy some stuff, because I have not taken out... Oh no, they're sending a... Oh yeah, they're going to destroy stuff. I don't think there's a whole lot for them to destroy, though. Eh. That's going to be 30,000 uh, that I'm losing, though. Well, 45, really, because there's that. All clear. Yeah, I have very little anti-air left. They did get another uh, Metal Marine built out there, which I suppose I might have wanted to take out, but they do hate that area. Well, I mean, there's a lot of uh, anti-air stuff, so does kind of make it difficult to get through. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the last base or if they have more, but... I'm also not sure if I have enough uh, missiles to take them out there. Nope. I did not. Alright. That's unfortunate. Still loading. Another enemy attack. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't actually have a way to, to s prevent this. I don't know how many missiles it takes to take out those transport craft, but it's a heck of a lot. Now, I haven't seen them use any missiles lately. I might have taken out all their missiles and not realized it. Make it harder for them to do anything. Dang it, that was not enough. I needed more missiles. All right. They're going to be able to uh, come back around. That's enough for that one. 
But I should be able to take out these energy buildings, which may make it harder for them to uh, get some stuff going. No, no, it is not. All right. One missile, not enough for that. Okay. That's good to know. Probably sending in the Metal Marine again. Yep. Yeah, I've taken out all their missiles. Uh, I don't think there's anything over there. Yep, good. That was a waste of energy. Commander, we have a communication from the enemy. Parasites, you just wait! Alright, I'm not sure that they have another, um... Another base, so I think I go after their... Their base next. There we go. Oh, look, they've hidden it, which may actually not work in my favor, so... Let's just do that, see how that goes. Hopefully I can take out that uh, Metal Marine there. Oh, good. I didn't need that second one, but that's unfortunate. There we go. Took out the anti-air. So I think they've hidden their base back here again, and I just want to reveal it. Okay, what are they actually attacking with? I think it does. So I'm pretty sure um, you need to get all of that damage out there uh, against their their uh, base, which I can go do now. Let's see. That should do it. Hopefully. I mean, maybe there's things that I don't know about. I mean, if this takes less than the six missiles, then yeah, I'll, uh, I'll agree with that. But if it takes the six missiles, then I think at least the base, you need to get it all in one volley. No? Okay. That was it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Colonial Command drops metal marines in Calgary. Despite heavy resistance, Colonial forces consolidate the drop zone and extend the battlefront. Empire units are forced to retreat to Greenland or risk being surrounded. Mode 7. Alright, let's take our uh, white base, I mean uh, Albion, up to Greenland. LSMD, Grampus. 
All right, but I'm going to say get a uh, save slot here. And the reason is because we do not have time to get into another mission. Um, let's actually go ahead and since the uh, YouTube didn't get to see the beginning because I had problems, let's go ahead and reset. And we'll see the, uh, the introduction, uh, tack it on at the end, uh, so to speak. I could use a password next time, too. We'll see how that works out. But if we just sit here, we'll get the, uh, introductory sequence. AD 2115. Research scientists make a breakthrough. However, the same technology was applied to weapons research. Disaster. A minor border skirmish between two nations saw the first use of antimatter weapons. The weapons set off a chain reaction of explosions across the globe, exploding all stockpiles. Yeah, it seems bad. Seems kind of bad. The Earth was shattered. It's a very cloudy Earth right now. Yay, Island 3 Space Colonies! Zorgruf, the Federal Military Commander, declares himself the Emperor. With control of the military, he consolidated his control of the Earth and set his sights on the Space Colonies. See, it's the Fetties! Where's Zeon fighting the Fetties? Then, AD 2117. The colonies unite in reaction to the threat from Earth. A powerful battleship is built to support the Earth campaign. It's kind of the white base. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a Gundam with the serial numbers filed off. <laughs> Anyway, I want to thank you guys for coming out. We'll be back next week for more Metal Marines. I'm guessing that this will take at least three sessions based on uh, how we went there. Maybe even four, just because um, I may... <laughs> the streams may end up being uh, a lot a lot more uh, failure, but we'll see. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for coming out. We'll be back next week for more of this. See you then, everyone. <laughs>